Hi, this is Stefano Virgili from Lab School Singapore. My motto is less chat and more action. That's why we jump straight in the tutorial. This is what we are going to do in this tutorial. You see a text, and you see a radial effect behind it that make the text disappear. Let's watch it one more time. There you go. So we can jump in the new composition and start again from scratch. I've imported this file and made a duplicate of it. The file is an Adobe Illustrator file. As you can see from the extension is .ai. So the one underneath is the one that we will work on and we will apply this effect called Radial Fast Blur. It's actually CC Radial Fast Blur. All I need to do is to just double click it and will be applied to my layer underneath. In my effect control panel, I have center, zoom, and amount. The two properties that we will work with are center and amount only. As you can see, the center is a property that is uh, possible to target just by clicking this little icon of the target. I can click on that one and I can bring it where I want it. Once I bring it where I want, it will uh, appear as a target on the text here. Now I can drag it around and you see that the effects move behind my text. The reason why it moves behind my text is because I have another instance of the same text on top. If I hide that instance of the text, what will happen is that we will only see the one underneath. I think it's a bit too blurred, that's why I made a copy on top. But I want the copy on top to disappear slowly. So I go with my current time indicator at the beginning, I set the opacity to 100, I go all the way to the end and I set the opacity to 0. By doing so, the text will slowly disappear on top. Right? Next thing will be to go back to my layer underneath, the one that I applied CC Radial Fast Blur, and I will make the amount increase slowly. So at the beginning of my timeline, I start the animation by clicking the stopwatch of amount. I will set the amount to zero, press enter, and then bring my CTI all the way to the end, change the amount to 100. As you can see, I can't see the keyframes that are applied to the layer underneath. That's why I always use my favorite shortcut. I always say it's a very useful shortcut because it's letter U. Letter U displays all the properties that have been keyframed for that layer. So I tap the letter U, here we go, and we have our amount for CC radial fast blur. Now as I scroll the timeline, you will see that the uh, amount will increase and the layer on top will slowly disappear. As you can see, there is no movement for my center yet, because that's the next thing. We're going to animate the center. I'm going to start the animation by clicking the stopwatch for center. There you go. I'm going to press again my useful shortcut letter U on the keyboard. And you see here is my keyframe for center. I move a little bit further down, maybe half a second or so. And I bring my center on the other side of the clip or the text. There you go. So now I've created the center moving from left to right. Now I would like it to go back and forth and back and forth for the entire duration of my composition. But I don't want to create any more keyframe. I just want to make it faster. Therefore, I'm going to use an expression. Hence, I go to my uh, stopwatch of center. I hold uh, alternate on my keyboard or option if you're using a Macintosh and click on it. It will open the text field for my expression. The expression that I'm going to type here is very simple. is loop and I type L-O-O-P and then capital O-U-T for out open parenthesis and then into the brackets we open the inverted comma and we type ping pong close the inverted comma then we make a comma zero close the bracket and click outside this expression we make our center follow whatever the keyframe says and then bounce back non-stop until the duration of our composition is over and it's done. Let's take a look. This is the green bar of our render, uh, RAM render uh, preview. And 
and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep following uh, our tutorials on uh, youtube.com slash VoxLab S-O-V-A, VoxLab School of Visual Arts, or follow us on lab.edu.sg.